Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is the Old Wives Tales of Gender Predictors. So, is it a boy, is it a girl? We actually find out tomorrow, so when we're filming this, we don't actually know. If you haven't met my husband or seen my husband, this is my husband, Ben. And, uh, guys. we are going to go through my list here of whether it's boy, boy or girl. Um, we are not wearing any colors in particular to vote one way or the other. This is just, I got dressed in blue. Um, and then... When it's a girl, I will put a count over by me. When it's a boy, the answer is boy, then it'll go over by Ben. So, the first one is, is the baby's heartbeat um, generally over 140 beats per minute or under? So, at the beginning, it was always over. Yeah, way over. Like 170, 160, but now it's right around 140 every time. Like Sometimes one, a little under. 135 to 145, so... I'm going to give that one the over 140, just because I'd say more times than not it's been over 140. That's but, true. But honestly, it could go either way. We don't like necessarily like believe these, like, okay, whatever this says is what it is. No, like, we know this is just for fun. Next one is one that Ben will have to answer. It is, is she more beautiful or less beautiful during pregnancy? More beautiful. Okay, well, why do you say that? Um, yeah, you're glowing. I'm glowing, guys. Yeah. Well, I have to say my skin is, like, more oily, and so, like, I'm not trying to glow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shiny for the first time in my life. I usually have, like, really dry skin, so that's nice. Um, I don't particularly feel more beautiful, but I don't know. I just feel, like, oilier. Oilier? Is that a word? It's a word now. Okay. okay, so I'm circling that one. So the first one was girl, so it was over 140. That was a point for girl. And more beautiful means a point for boy. All right, we have the next one, cravings. If it's that I'm craving salty foods, it's a boy. If I'm craving sweet foods, it's a girl. Kind of both. Kind of both. Yeah. Initially, it was definitely salty. Like, it was like meat and cheese and like savory stuff. But lately I've been craving more like fruit. Um, and like, but not chocolate. Chocolate is gross to me right now for some weird reason. Half point. So that's half. Yeah. Half for girl, half for boy? Yes. Okay. Um, and then morning sickness. Yes means boy. Girl is no. Yes means boy. No means girl. I don't know why, because I always thought that it was with girls you were sicker, but what I was watching on YouTube, a lot of people said if you had more morning sickness, that it was a boy, so... Well, whatever it is, yes. <laughs> I throw up a lot, <laughs> and poor Ben has gotten to clean it up, so not intentionally, it just kind of happens that way, and he's got a stronger stomach than I do for that kind of stuff, so morning sickness, yes, that's point four boy. Okay, skin. Is my skin dry or softer? Softer. Softer, I guess, because yeah. it's not dry. No. Okay, so that's a point for girl. Um, sleep. Do I sleep on my left side or my right side? This one's weird because I've always slept on my right, right. because we face away from each other in bed. It's just kind of it's romantic. We're like, get away from me. <laughs> but I, I'm going to say right side, but I wouldn't even say that's a pregnancy thing. That's just because I like my space. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, balance. Boy is clumsy and girl is graceful. What would you say on that one? Um, well, you're obviously very graceful, but... <laughs> what? Clumsy? But... But yeah, maybe. I did fall while we were hiking and like hurt my ankle, so I'm not going to argue on that one. I'm always clumsy, but I think it's even worse now that I'm pregnant. Okay, mood. This one made me laugh the other day. So um, if I'm moody, it's supposed to mean I'm having a boy, and if I'm pleasant, it means I'm having a girl. When I asked Ben this the first time, like just kind of running through the questions, I said, have I been pleasant or moody? And he was like, sometimes you're pleasant. <laughs> I was like, so what you're saying is I'm moody? Yeah. Sometimes. I mean, they're, they're moods. They're not all the time. Okay. So I'm going to go with moody on that one because when you feel like crap, you 
you're not always happy and easy to be around. So that's another point for boy. So I'm going to do a quick tally up real quick. Uh, um, headaches. Have I had headaches? Boy, have I had headaches. Like, a lot. Like, probably more days than not the last few weeks, but it's getting better, I think. So headaches, yes, that means girl. So that makes four and a half for girl, four and a half for boy. Um, so we also did this one. This is the wedding ring test where you take um, the woman's like wedding ring and you put it on her hair or on a string, hold it over her belly and see whether it goes back and forth or in a circle. Neither of us really felt this was very scientific because it goes whichever way you move your hand. So it's like, duh. But we agreed circles. So that means a point for boy. So now we're back to five and a half to four and a half. So this one was funny. Daddy's weight, is he gaining or maintaining? I made Ben weigh himself. He doesn't weigh himself very often, but he is gaining. Mm -hmm. Just a few pounds, right? Like three pounds or something. So yeah. I've gained more than him for sure, but gaining, that's another point for boy. So that's six and a half to four and a half. Now this one, I could go either way. Um, dreams, if you're having dreams of boy stuff, it's a boy. If you're having dreams of girl stuff, it's a girl. I've had both. So, I'm going to yeah. do half and half. Yeah. Okay, so that's seven to five. And then another one is if I'm carrying high or carrying low. So, it's hard to say when you're not carrying that much. I don't know. I'll stand up. I'll let you guys be the judge. But I've been told I'm carrying high. And compared to uh, my sister who's pregnant with her second boy, I'm carrying a lot higher. So, I've been told, like, that I'm carrying higher. I don't know. I'm going to go with high, but that's not what I actually think. That's just what everybody keeps telling me. So, high. That means seven for boy, six for girl. And then we have two other ones. These are not going to help. It's probably going to be pretty even. Um, the Chinese calendar. So, the Chinese calendar is um, two questions, and then they have a thing whether it's a boy or a girl. How old were you when you conceived? I was 29, and what month did you conceive? And that was August. So that means it's a boy. So that means eight for boy, six for girl. And then one more, and the Mayan calendar says you take your age at conception, which mine was 29, so it's odd. And then the month of conception, which was even since it was August. And so an odd age at conception with an even month of conception means boy. So with this, um, these, how many was there? Nine and six. Fifteen? Nine of them said I was having a boy. I don't know. My what? hunch says girl, but like only by a little bit. And every time I ask Ben, he says 50-50. So. Yeah. Okay, so we will let you guys know what the gender actually is, but nine out of fifteen, it's not much more than half, but it's interesting. Let us know down below if any of these were like dead on for you, like if you did these kinds of tests and they all were right, or if it was completely off, and I'm just curious to see if anybody actually thinks these like were right, because I don't know, I don't have much faith in them, so we will see tomorrow when we find out the gender. Thanks for watching. Bye.